As we head into a third week of Jackson's water crisis, people are wanting solutions now. And one of those solutions the council agreed may be an additional tax hike. Kayla, you're going to tell us more. Any of every dollar that you spend could help address water and sewer issues in the city of Jackson. But there are a lot of mixed feelings about this. Some people say that they are forward, but some feel that this increase isn't much of an issue. Others feel that they shouldn't have to pay more for problems they've been having for years. Against it. Why? There shouldn't be anything at our expense at this point. I have, I have uh, family members that have been here with the low pressure water. For the last two to three years, I've been calling on them constantly. Forest Hill Road it was mentioned on the news, as a matter of fact. Nothing's been done about it. Now this comes about, we have no water the last two weeks. Well, this has been the second week here. This isn't final yet. The legislature has to approve putting it on the ballot, and then voters in Jackson will get the final say. Now, but the overall feeling from people I talked to today is that they want a permanent solution and accountability. Back to you.